Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I have been dying for today's video for a long time. It is well overdue. Today is my end of the year declutter. I feel like a lot of you guys look forward to my declutters because I have a decently large collection, kind of medium collection now, but I love getting rid of stuff. I love making room and organizing my collection. So if you wanna watch me organize and purge some things, this video is for you. Give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and let's get started. Okay, let's get started with the end of the year declutter. I'm going to start with my eyeshadow palettes. I kind of go over what I have. I already know which ones I'm going to get rid of. I'm not going to get rid of too many of these. Uh, and then we'll dive into our next category. I have a couple of build your own eyeshadow palettes, one of them being from Butonomy, another one from Lethal Cosmetics, and I actually just filmed a palette ranking video, so if you want to know what my favorite palettes in my collection are, um, I can leave that down in the description box. I'm definitely keeping both of these. I've got some ColourPop eyeshadow palettes, It's My Pleasure, and the Going Coconuts, the monochromatic palettes are awesome. Uh, this Dream Street palette, this is actually the first palette that I'm going to be decluttering. This is the collab between ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. I really do enjoy this palette, but I want to make some room in my collection. It is discontinued, and I have the Raw Beauty Christie palette uh, sitting in a box over to the left of me, so I just want to, you know, make some room for a new ColourPop palette and say goodbye to this one. I also have a little container here that I will be putting my declutter items in. I have a Nabla Cosmetics palette, a couple of e.l.f. Um, bite-sized palettes down here, the Raw Beauty Christie and Purr palette. Uh, love this palette. This is the Jackie Ina Anastasia palette. Like, look how beautiful this is. I just can't get over the finishes and the texture. Absolutely stunning. A couple of Morphe Jaclyn Hill palettes back here. These are getting old, uh, but I'm not going to declutter them yet. Maybe next time they'll make the cut. A Hip Dot palette down here, and then these are all of my Alter Ego palettes, which I'll be keeping all of those. We have an Urban Decay one, love the packaging. Uh, this one on top I will be decluttering. This is a holiday collection from Tarte. Uh, and I just am not a huge fan of the quality of these shadows. Also the packaging is incredibly bulky. I might repurpose this because I think it's a really cute package and I could put something else in here. Um, but for now I will be decluttering this. Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette, keeping that. This is the 39L Hit the Lights Morphe palette. Although it's beautiful and it's got really awesome sh shadows in it, um, I am going to be decluttering this one. I'm hopefully going to be able to find a home for this one just because it's very lightly used. It's really beautiful, but the color story is just a little too overwhelming for me, so I'm going to say goodbye to this one. So everything else I'm keeping, I know I didn't get rid of a super lot of the palettes, but palettes are kind of my thing, so that doesn't really shock me. A lot of these are new actually too, so yeah, I'm going to hold on to them for a little bit longer. Next up we have highlighters and blushes. Let's do blushes first. This is my only cream blush from ColourPop in the shade Cool It, and wow, I love this shade, and I love this formula, so I'd definitely be keeping this one. I need more cream blushes. If you guys have any suggestions, definitely let me know. This is a $1 blush from Shop Miss A. I think eventually I might end up decluttering it because it's really just not my uh, cup of tea. It's so pink. Maybe I need to wear it a little bit more, but for now I'm going to keep it just because it's not super old and hopefully I can grow to kind of love it a little bit more. Next time I might declutter it though. This is getting old. This was from 2018. This is the Laura Geller blush and I think it's in grapefruit, but I am going to keep this one. I possibly might put it in my product project pan for next year because uh, it's a really beautiful blush but it's getting old. The formula still acts the same. It's not dried out or anything uh, so I will keep that one. Another blush that's really not my color is this really pink or coral maybe is the better word uh, from ColourPop but it is relatively new to my collection so I'll keep that one also. A couple blushes I will be getting rid of are these old ones from Essence. I have loved these for a long time. They've really gotten a lot of use out of them. This is in Satin Coral and this is in Satin Love. Um, man, these are great blushes, only $3, but they're from 2017, so they're definitely old. Uh, so I think it's time to say goodbye to them, which is really sad, but they're so affordable. I could always repurchase them, uh, but for now, in the bucket they go. 
The last blush that I have to talk about is my Project Pan Blush from Tarte. Technically, I'm not decluttering this right now, but at the end of the year, I will be decluttering this. This thing is old, it's pretty dried out, so I am gonna be counting it as a decluttered item in this video, uh, cause I'm only gonna be using it for another month or so, and then it's gonna be gone. So I'm gonna count this as a product that I decluttered. Moving on to highlighters, oh my goodness, another one of my favorite products, oh my gosh. Uh, a couple of my favorites right on top, we have a ColourPop one. This one from Give Me Glow is stunning. This is a loose pigment, it's my only loose pigmented highlighter and it's just stunning on the cheeks. Here is a couple swatches just to show you guys. This is the ColourPop one and this is the Give Me Glow one. Like look at the reflectivity, I'm obsessed with these. One highlighter that I think I'm gonna get rid of is this AOA Studio $1 highlighter. It's actually a really good highlighter, but I think I just wanna open my collection up and get rid of a couple of things. I don't really reach for this too much, so I'm gonna say goodbye to this one. This is a highlighter I should declutter. This is Moonstone from Becca Cosmetics. This is from 2015, this is old, but I paid so much for this freaking highlighter that I like refused to get rid of it. So I'm gonna keep it, which I know is a crappy reason. I don't even like using it to be honest, but I spent like $50 on the highlighter. And every time I think about that, I just get angry. So I have to keep it. Uh, another one of my favorite highlighters, this is from Lethal Cosmetics in the shade Isotope really really good um i could give you guys another swatch sorry i'm trying to swatch and show you everything but also not make this video a million years long it just blends seamlessly into the skin giving you a beautiful finish on the cheekbones i think the other highlighter that i will be decluttering is this elf one i love this highlighter for so long this is the elf hg shimmering powder i believe it's called uh this is in pearl glow this is a beautiful oh my gosh it's so buttery maybe i don't want to get rid of it ah! oh i don't know now now i'm like questioning myself no, I'm gonna stick with my guns. I'm gonna get rid of it. It is old in my collection, so I think it's just time to try some new things, make some room. Even though I love this highlighter, I will always recommend this highlighter. I just think it, it's time to part our ways. And I think I'm keeping everything else. The last one in here is a Laura Geller one, and this is another e.l.f. highlighter, so at least I have one e.l.f. highlighter. Uh, but yeah, everything else I'm keeping. I also have these singles right here. All of these are good, relatively new, not expired, so I need to use these more. I don't tend to reach for my singles as much, uh, but I will be keeping all of those. Speaking of singles, here are my single eyeshadows. There are two shades in here that I want to get rid of just because they are old. They are from Shop Miss A. They were only one dollar, but I did actually really like them. This is the shade Vintage. And this is the shade Element, so I'll get rid of both of those. Okay, I believe we only have two trays left, this one and then one more. So, just looking at this, a hot mess, first of all. I know I wanna get rid of this, even though this is so pretty. This is the Urban Decay Single Eyeshadow in Midnight Cowboy. And I got this single on my birthday, like as a freebie at Ulta, uh, like so many years ago, like five years ago. So it's really old, I love the packaging. I just rarely reach for it because again, I'm just not a singles person. Uh, even though it's pretty, I think it's time to get rid of it. I thought about decluttering this eyeliner because it does look like it's drying out, but it's actually not that old, so I think I could like revive it or something. Uh, I wear this very rarely, but it's super fun and vivid. Obviously, it's called the Vivid Brights from NYX. So I think I'll keep, hold on to it a little bit longer. Maybe next time I'll get rid of it. I've got some mascaras and a couple of things I need to get rid of in this section. This is just an old mascara. This is um, from CoverGirl. I love this mascara. This is the Exhibitionist mascara. I will definitely be repurchasing that. I also recently just bought a new Duo Glue just because this one's really old and I'm pretty careful about putting really old stuff on my eyes or near my eyes. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get rid of this. There's plenty of product left, uh, but it just 
it needs to be replaced. Two Flower Beauty Lash Warriors. Uh, this one's a brown one, this one's a black one. This one needs to be decluttered just because I've used it for over three months, so it's drying out and it's getting expired, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. I don't typically wear brown mascara, so maybe I'll put this in my shop, my stash, and see how I feel about it, uh, but I will be keeping that for now. This is a pretty much empty clear eyebrow gel, so I'm gonna replace it with another one, so I'll get rid of that. My camera is testing me today, you guys. It does not wanna focus, so these are are two Project Pan products. They're e.l.f. eyebrow, or not e.l.f., oh my goodness. These are Flower Beauty Tattoo Stain Effect eyebrow products. They're like markers for your eyebrows, and I like them, but they stain my clear eyebrow gel pink, so I will, at the end of the year, be getting rid of these. So again, I'm gonna be using them for another month, so it's not like I'm technically decluttering it right now, but I will, and I just wanna include those numbers in this Project Pan. I think everything else is good. We have a couple of lip liners. Rarely do I ever wear lip liner. Uh, this is getting old. This is a blue mascara that I've used like two times. A <laughs> um, couple eyebrow products. Everything else I think is good. So let's move on to these lip products over here. I think I'm keeping a lot of these. The only ones I'm thinking about getting rid of, uh, well, first of all, let me tell you what I have. These are Jogia High Pigmented uh, Lip Glosses. They're, I really like the formula. Um, and they're all still good, so I probably won't get rid of any of them, but look, look at that pigment. Like, I really like this formula a lot. So I am going to keep all of my Jogia glosses that are up here, and I have some Jogia matte liquid lips down here. I think I'm gonna get rid of this red one. They technically are expired, but they're not expired by too much. I did ask for a red Ofra Cosmetics liquid lipstick. For Christmas, I'm kind of hoping that I get that for Christmas, so I think it's going to replace this one, so I think I'm going to get rid of it. Hopefully I'm not, uh, you know, doing that too soon, but I'm hoping I get it, so let's manifest it. I think the rest I'm going to keep, unfortunately, these Ofra Cosmetics liquid lipsticks are old and starting to smell a little funky, so as much as I love my Ofra liquid lips, I'm gonna get rid of these too. Again, I asked for a couple for Christmas, so hopefully I get a couple new ones. I think everything else I'm gonna keep, I have a Give Me Glow matte liquid lipstick, a couple of Menagerie liquid lipsticks, uh, but those are all good, not expired. So let's move on to our last tray. Okay, even though it's our last tray, there is quite a few products in here right off the bat. I know I have to get rid of this Morphe spray. I don't want to, uh, but it is expired. I have had it for, I think, two years, and I do use this product all over my face and even sometimes like pat it on my eyelids to set my eyeshadow, and I just feel like I don't want to continue to use something this old near my eyes, so I will be getting rid of this. I don't really support Morphe anymore, so if you guys have a suggestion for a good setting spray for not only your face, but also setting eyeshadows, please let me know because I'm kind of desperate. I need a new one soon, uh, but I will be getting rid of that one. This foundation's in my Project Pan, so I'm not getting rid of that. This is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. As you can see, it has been well-loved. I've used this as an eye primer. I just ordered another one, and it came in the mail along with my Raw Beauty Christie eyeshadow palette, which I'm so excited about. Uh, so I will be getting rid of this just because I have a replacement. And I also have another kind of empty right here. This is the Smashbosh. What? This is the Smash... Smashbosh. Smash this is the Smashbox of uh, Photo Finish Primerizer, uh, and I did really good. As you can tell, it's pretty empty. Uh, I really liked this primer. Felt like it really moisturized my skin and got it ready for foundation, but I probably won't repurchase only because it's like $45, and uh, yeah, I just don't want to spend that much money. But I really enjoyed it. Definitely recommend it if you have the money, uh, but yeah, this is going to go goodbye because, hello, it isn't empty technically. I've got another primer, a couple foundations. This is a pure white foundation from LA Girl and I actually really enjoy this product but it's about two years old and it's starting to separate and so I would just feel more comfortable if I bought a new one if I need it. Uh, so I'm gonna get rid of this. That wraps up this middle section. We have some glitter stuff down here. A couple of these I know I'm getting rid of. This is the e.l.f. glitter glue and it is probably three or four years old, uh, so I'm not comfortable putting this again on my eye. Too old. I've heard really good things about this. I've only used it a couple of times, uh, but the times that I did use it, it worked for me. 
I did test out my glitters beforehand and there are three that I'm gonna be getting rid of. These are good, these are the uh, Urban Decay Heavy Metals glitters. Those will probably go bad maybe within this next year and I probably will repurchase this one right here. Uh, and then I also have Stila glitters right here and then one e.l.f. one. This is a new to my collection, so this one's still definitely good. I marked the bottoms on these, so yep, I'm getting rid of that one, this one, and this one. I really love these Stila glitters. I know some people think they're overhyped, but if you can get them on sale, especially right now in the holidays is usually when they go on sale, I think they're worth it. Would I buy them full price? Probably not. Uh, but if you can get them on sale, definitely worth it. So I'm gonna get rid of these three, which is really sad, but you know, all things that are good must end. These are the only two that were still good. So I might end up putting one of these in my project pan. I'm not sure. I don't tend to reach for glitters very often. So we'll see. Okay, this is so hard because I have to get rid of some of these lipsticks. I've got a Morphe one. Again, I don't really support Morphe anymore, but this is pretty new and I don't I don't really want to get rid of it. This is a Wet n Wild $2 lipstick. I don't support Wet n Wild anymore either, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Uh, and then, as sad as it is, I think I'm getting rid of all four of my last matte NYX lipsticks. Ugh. That is so sad to say. These are about three or four years old. So I just think it's time to let them go. I might end up repurchasing um, Honeymoon because this is a really beautiful color, but I did kind of find a dupe in my collection. The Morphe one is actually really similar to Honeymoon. This is the next one. This is the Morphe one. So very similar. Again, I might end up repurchasing this one just because I love it so much. Uh, and I just went to swatch this one. Because the formula is so soft, it's really leaning. And I'm wondering if it's not going to make it much longer. We'll see. I don't know. The formula is so soft. Just a couple of more swatches. This is NYX Tea Rose. This is NYX Whipped Caviar. And this is Color Pops Cami. Right here, this is new to my collection. Um, these two are pretty similar, so that makes me feel a little bit better at getting rid of whipped caviar. It's hard for me to say goodbye to these NYX ones, but I mean, they're always at Ulta. I can always pick them up at any point that I want. Uh, so just a couple of swatch comparisons for you. Uh, I definitely have dupes for the ones that I'm getting rid of, so I think it's fine, but still kind of sad though. So the rest up here, we have some ColourPop. Uh, I don't think I'm getting rid of any of these. ColourPop Red, ColourPop Nude. I really love the Lux formulas, so good. Uh, a Nabla Cosmetics lipstick, another nude. I'm obsessed with nudes, as you guys probably know. And then a Becca one, which is newest to my collection. This is a very pretty nude. I also love the packaging, like look at this. Magnetic, oh my gosh. The littlest things entertain me, you guys. Moving on to this very last section, which I know there's a couple of things in here I'm gonna get rid of. The first one being this e.l.f. Modern Metals Glitter. I think I got this in 2018. So, a little too old. I also have another glitter gloss in here. I'm not a big glitter gloss to begin with, uh, but I'll still keep the Laura Geller one that I have over this one, just because this one's a little bit older. Also, I'm gonna get rid of this e.l.f. This isn't even like a lip gloss or anything. This is just a, what do you even call this? Like it helps you remove matte liquid lipsticks, but this is a little old and I smelled it and it just doesn't smell very good. So that's how you know it is time to say goodbye. Oh, and I do have some ColourPop lippy sticks up there that I'm gonna be keeping. The only, ugh, this is hard guys. Okay, so I know I need to get rid of this. This is the Milani Amore Shine in Crush. Color is so good it looks so good on i love the formula it's this nice like normally i don't like thick glosses but this is just like the right amount very shiny it stays put it's comfortable it's not like sticky but it is old i've had this i think three and a half years question mark i could be wrong on that i have to double check my spreadsheet <sighs> I know for sure I'm going to rebuy this. I just don't know when. So I think for now I am going to declutter it, even though that makes me really sad. And I think everything else I'm keeping in there. So that wraps up my end of the year declutter. I mean, we filled this thing pretty good. I'd say we did a pretty good job. I really hope you guys enjoyed this declutter. Let me know what products you've decluttered recently. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. I appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.